In today's video blog, I'm going to talk about the eight mistakes that people commonly make with business cards. The first mistake I see is that people have taken a shortcut and they've only got one side of their business card printed. The back of your business card is valuable real estate and you can be putting marketing messages, but always make sure that there's a, there's a reasonable area that's a white space which will allow people to write on it. The second mistake I commonly see is that people don't put all of their contact details. In today's hyper-connected world, it's more than just your email and your phone number. What about your Twitter ID? What about your LinkedIn profile? What about your Skype? Remember to include all the ways that you're happy for someone to contact and connect with you. Another thing I commonly see is cluttered, cheap and messy business cards. Your business card creates an image about yourself. Make sure it's giving the right image for you and your professional practice. Something that I see, which I personally love the look and feel of dark, glossy business cards. However, you can't write on them. And many people, when they receive a business card, want to write on them about something about the person they've met or what they're going to do as a next step. And if you've got one of these cards, it's impossible to write upon. When I talk about writing upon, this is another mistake they make. Not In not every culture is it acceptable to write on someone's business card. Actually in Asia, if you wrote on someone's business card, this would be seen as a massive insult. So before you write on someone's card, just check that they're okay with you doing so. One thing I do see people doing at events is they go on what I call business card hunting and gathering, where they see that if they've got over 100 cards after being in an event, that that's a real success. Now, networking is all about building that relationship. And if you've got 100 business cards from an event, how realistic are you going to be about building a relationship with those 100 people? It's not possible. So be selective. Only exchange cards with people that you really want to stay in contact with. Now the etiquette is that sometimes people that you don't want to stay in touch with are going to request your card. So do exchange cards, could it be rude not to? But do clarify how they're going to use your data and do make it expressly clear if you don't want them to put you on your mailing list. One of the most common mistakes people make is they go out without their business card. So always make sure you've got a supply in your bag, in your suit pocket, in your car because you never know when you might need a business card and sometimes social events perhaps just with family and friends you may meet someone who could be very valuable to your business you need to be ready and prepared and then finally people take these business cards and then they don't do anything with them now what a business card is saying is I'm giving you permission to contact me again so make sure you put them into your contact management system and do that 24 hours after the event. Now, if you're a busy professional, how about getting your assistant to do that for you? So in summary, these are the eight mistakes I see people making with their business cards. Firstly, they don't use both sides of them of the business card. Secondly, they forget important contact details. Thirdly, they're often using cheap, cluttered and messy cards. Fourthly, they forget that people want to write on their cards and so they're glossy and laminated, it's really difficult to write. Then after the event, they actually forget to put people's details into their contact management system. Another mistake is where they go business card hunting and gathering, where they see it as a success to have lots of business cards. Actually, it's only a success if you can build a meaningful relationship afterwards. You've got to remember to have your business card with you and always remember to check whether it's okay to write on a business card, as in some cultures this is actually seen as rude. My name is Heather Townsend and I am the writer of the Financial Times Guide to Business Networking. Mm -hmm.